Welcome to the CE Way presentation about the Cosmetic Good Manufacturing Practice Standard ISO 22716. Legislation that is covering cosmetic products in the EU is Regulation 1223-2009. This regulation is also adopted in the EFTA countries. Cosmetics Good Manufacturing Practice is one of the pillars of the EU cosmetics regulations, as it sets very high requirements to ensure consumer safety. Each product placed on the EU market should therefore be produced according to good manufacturing practice. Compliance with good manufacturing practice is presumed where the manufacturer is in accordance with the relevant harmonised standards, the references of which have been published in the official journal of the European Union. In the EU, this standard is ISO 22716-2007. ISO 22716 also has direct links to many other cosmetic regulations in place around the world, as the regulators in several countries and regions have adopted this standard. ISO 22716 is an international standard that gives guidance for the production, control, storage and shipment of cosmetic products. It deals with all aspects of the supply chain of cosmetic products. It covers the quality aspects of the products, but it does not cover safety aspects for the personnel engaged in the plant, protection of the environment, and it is not applicable to research and development activities. ISO 22716 provides guidance in a number of areas, which can be broadly divided into five categories. These are Personnel, Premises and Equipment, Production, Quality Control, and Quality Systems. This GMP standard sets requirements for the organisation, key responsibilities, training and hygiene of the personnel. Equipment and premises should be suitable for the intended purpose, properly designed, capable of being cleaned and, if necessary, sanitised and maintained. When it comes to production, standards are set in materials management, specifically in purchasing, receipt, identification and status, release, storage and re-evaluation of materials. At each stage of manufacturing and packaging operations, measures should be taken to produce a finished product that meets the defined characteristics. This means that requirements are set for documentation, startup checks and in-process controls, while storage, shipment and returns of products should be managed in a manner so as to maintain the quality of finished products. The Quality Control Laboratory is responsible for ensuring that the necessary and relevant controls within its activity are carried out for sampling and testing, so that materials are released for use and products are released for shipment only if their quality fulfills the required acceptance criteria. If certain materials or products are rejected, an investigation should be performed. Quality systems should also be set in documentation control, and deviations, complaints and recalls should be reviewed, investigated and followed up on, internal audits should be conducted, and changes that could affect the quality of the product should be approved and performed by authorised personnel on the basis of sufficient data. We hope you found our presentation useful. More information about the EU cosmetic regulation and good manufacturing practice can be found on our website. You can also contact us via email or through social media channels to find out more.